Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This is the mid-month reading for you, Scorpio. I hope you are okay. I hope you're fine. I hope you're safe wherever you are right now. Before I start, Scorpio, I would like to thank you for coming back, for tuning in. Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting my channel. For my subscribers, thank you for all the love. Um, the manifestation bracelet, it is already available online. Uh, www.sunshinecode-essential.com Check it out, guys. It comes with a free reading for every purchase. And it's free shipping worldwide, okay? Have a look at it. For guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the subscribe button and the bell, please do it now if you are interested and if you are keen, okay? And if you would like to further support me, myself my team my journey um all the pretty links is down in the description box below okay so this is a uh, mid-month reading bi-weekly reading for scorpio what can i get for you scorpio for august 15 to um up until the end of august 2020 okay in today's reading guys i will be looking at your energy your person's energy, the mutual energy. This is next week and the next um, set of cards, this is for the last week of August. So I have divided it, it to two, all right? And then depending on the message that I'll pick up, um, I'll pull more car cards to clarify and um, to get more, you know, um, detailed messages depending on the energy. So let's start the reading Scorpio. So, um, for the next two weeks, um, Six of Swords um, is here and Ten of Wands. There is a new moon in Leo. So, it is time for you, Scorpio, to have some sort of stock clearance. <laughs> you need to let go or you need to move on of control. You need to let go and move on of people and person that is not serving your um relationship or your love energy okay six of swords even i know you want this person you love this person but there are some things that you are not seeing in the background some people some person that you connect romantically they're not ready they're not prepared uh for some of you guys um uranus went retrograde to uh, to, to taurus in your relationship sign so there is a change of heart okay there's a change there is a change of heart coming from your love person, love interest. That's why for some of you, you are forced to move on. You are forced to, um, you're noticing a bit of delay. You're forced to move on or you're forced to kind of um, let go of burdening situation or a relationship that's not serving, you know, the highest purpose in your life. So do it okay you still can manifest them to come back without being controlling without being so aggressive you know you just really have to you know to tell the universe i'm letting this person go if the love is strong they will come back okay and when you let go let go of bitterness and grudge because you know maybe you are in the process of pain and releasing the pain so if you let go of this person you also release the pain so when they come back things are more crystal clear okay you need some you know ten of wands this is a difficult energy to carry around the baggages the pain so you also need to scatter this negative vibe to the universe give it to the universe whatever pain and hurt you have and let go of control you might not understand it now why you're separated why you're disconnected or why you are not in good speaking terms right now or you're not it's not working, but sooner or later you will. There's always a reason behind things, okay? We just really have to accept what the universe is bringing us to us. To us, yeah. Bring us to us, okay? Trust that, okay? And um, let's look at your person's energy, all right? So um, for some of you guys, um, I don't know if you have a breakup, a separation, a disconnection, or a delay, Um they're not done with you, okay? This person is rejuvenating. This person is recharging, okay? Death card is in reverse. I'm not done with you, Scorpio. I haven't really tasted the best 
version of Scorpio. I'm not done with you. I'm not done with you. I'm just rejuvenating. I'm just recuperating. I'm fueling up the Eight of Wands is here. Okay? This is a very strong reading, Scorpio. Trust me. Eight of Wands. I am recuperating. I am fueling up. When I come back, I'll give you an Eight of Wands and I will be very focused on you, Scorpio. Okay? This is you in the middle. Okay? This will lit up, it will fire, and this is how it's going to rock your world, okay? So, stop fretting, Scorpio. Stop all the negativity, the control. Stop being sad. This person is going to come back to you. They will be around you pretty much next week, okay? The mutual energy is that you need to let go of the stubbornness, okay? There's a bull in here. So don't be stubborn, tap into your femininity, tap, it, tap into your vulnerability, be flexible. Because if you want to deal with a long-term relationship, a long-term commitment, then you need to also accept Scorpio that you have made a mistake and you are accountable of that and find a compromise. Because I see this person in you having a talk again. If you're so stubborn and uncompromising, you might miss this opportunity. Because when they come back, they will be full on eight of wands. This is passionate, okay? If you will sting them, you would kill the vibe of passion that they have brewed. You know, it's like, I want the coffee to be, to taste really good. So I'll keep the coffee overnight. They prepared something for you, eight of wands, and you will just sting them. So I see you and your person having to communicate again, having to talk again. I'd suggest Scorpio to be on a listening side, okay? There is a little bit of criticism in there. Just take it all in and just listen, okay? This is a time where you're more on a listening side of the story okay so this is quite strong and then the next reading um for the end of august is you've got three of wands in here and the eight of pentacles taking things slowly okay do not rush things taking things slowly um one at a time you're vi you're very busy at work or for some of you i pick up the end of august you've learned your lesson okay that putting too much into something that is too um it's too early it will not give you the output the outcome that you want and that is a good thing so take things slowly divide your time okay eight of pentacles you know this is you end of august you think of them in the morning if they don't call if they don't text then focus on yourself focus on your exercise focus on money you know you've got the div you've got to really end of august to um entertain yourself because things are a bit slow between the two of you by end of august but i honestly feel like it will pick up again you won't realize that oh they're calling me now oh they're inviting me out because you put yourself or your 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 mental process into other stuff into other areas of your life okay so for the end of august you are advised to focus on that person if it doesn't work detach the energy and find other areas of your life that you could be productive, okay? Your energy in here, Scorpio, is really general, okay? It's reminding you that, you know, love is a good, you know, love is love romantic. It's, it's something that we want to have in life. But the most difficult thing that we will do in our life, in this lifetime, is to love somebody, to love another human. So it, it takes a bit of a process. If it's not working, divert your energy, your attention to the best invert investment, which is yourself. Your first love is yourself, okay? And that is how if you love yourself, then you will not allow low vibe people, person, situation to come along. And in, in if you're able to do that, then you would upgrade this person's energy, the love romantic around you to give you what you deserve, okay? So, but you're working on that. I really feel like you're working on that. You've kind of, this is a batch of reading for Scorpio friends who've evolved. And I'm so proud of you guys, okay? And then your person's energy is that. So here you go, all right? When you're so busy taking care of your finances, taking care of your finances, your family, your time for yourself, this is where you see the Ace of Pentacles. This is where this person offer you 
to ask you out, to call you, to text you, to start all over again to you, to start something practical to you because, I don't know, you rejected them, you resented them, but I felt like this person is now offering you an Ace of Pentacles because they want to retrieve the lover's energy, okay? This person is scared to lose you. This person felt that you are no longer around. They've lived and they've felt how it is without you the lover's card in reverse and they don't want that and so here they are they would like to reset to start all over again with you they don't want they do not like to disconnect with you even if it's just friends i think this person will be around but they don't want you to be out of their life crazy stupid energy from your person okay the mutual energy between the the, the two of you is the knight of cups I'll get more details. I felt like this is your energy. I don't know. Maybe you are going to play Cupid with this person. Or this offer is not enough. I think you would like this person to express what they really feel towards you. Okay? Because this is just an ace of pentacles. They've been calling you and texting you. But they never really exp express their agenda. Okay? Um, that's what I get. I see a practical, I see and feel a practical new beginning, end of August, but you're not really clear if this is just a rebound or this is just a friendship. You're not quite clear on what they want, although there is a lover's energy, but it is in reverse. But I felt like this is how they strategically position themselves is they don't want to scare you away. So they would like to implement a regular call, a regular a regular text. They're not yet into expressing to you the feelings. They know what they want, but they're just positioning themselves well, you know, in an angle that they won't be rejected. But I guess you, Scorpio, what's important for you is the emotional connectivity. That's why the Knight of Cups here is in reverse. It's more of this person is not yet ready to connect with you in an emotional level. And in your case, I really find like that is important to me. Don't just call me and text me for friends because I have a lot of friends, you idiot. <laughs> Sorry. So I think you want to make it's for you in, in the end of August. You want to make you want to you want to be clear on what this person wants. If they want friendship, then sorry i've got lots of friends okay go and find friendship with other people you want love and romantic so you're kind of in that energy for the knight of cups so let's get more details for you scorpio friends three cards please this is quite exciting this is your power i felt like you are in control of these feelings yeah the king of swords the temperance card <laughs> And the Six of Cups. So I think you will scare them away. They will be threatened with your... I think you will challenge this person at the end of... Because um... I see this is you. Hey, you, my love interest. You call me, you text me. I don't need that. I want an emotional connection with you. What it is... It's, it's more of your finding purpose. Why are you doing this? What is the purpose? If it's love romantic, I will accept you. If it's just friendship, go find an online friend somewhere else, okay? Because I want love. So you know what you want. You are imposing something of a rule. And Six of Cups, they you made them feel in more and more stuck. Because you're very wise, Scorpio. You're very instinctive in this weaving. Okay, you're really challenging this person to upgrade okay let's see what will be their reaction if you give them this energy because i think they're trying to keep things slow with you you know the strategy okay i'll give scorpio a call and then a text and a message and then when the time is ready i will give the lover's card energy in upright position you know but they don't say it like this person i felt like they're not really putting all the cards down you know scorpio they're not really giving you all what's the what is in their cards um ooh, okay you've got the magician oh god they've got a good plan but um yeah, all right. So I think you will challenge this person and I think it would take effect, okay? 
if you're gonna be blunt with somebody at the end of uh this month august like i really feel like scorpio you're gonna challenge someone and ask them what's your purpose you will make this more that we will make this person special for feminine scorpio you'll get this person going gaga going crazy because they'll give it all i think this person will realize that i'm dealing with a scorpio and i need really to give I can't just give Scorpio an ace of pentacles. I need to put emotions and I need to give it all because I'm dealing with some someone who's magical, okay? You will feel very special. You will feel very special on their um on their next big step, okay? So, but be very diplomatic Scorpio if you're going to impose a rule or if you're going to be blunt with this person you know um make sure that you're really using the right words and the right communication because i felt like you know having the temperance card here having the temperance card here in reverse and the king of sword you might say to this person okay i appreciate your call but i don't need that there's a lot of people who's calling me so tell me what you want so <laughs> you need to reward that energy okay i appreciate your call and i do and i miss you is this love or is this friendship you know, I really get that vibe in here, okay? So I think, yeah, I think you'd speed up things with this person. It will take an effect because this is them. They will go hiding. They will be quiet. But they will, you know, um, channel the magician energy and go full time, full circle with you. I don't know, maybe you will find out a deep. You'll find out something with your person at the end of this month. And you will say, that wouldn't work with me if you're like that if if you know if, if you're coming with me with this please go away because i'm a i'm a person i'm a scorpio who has evolved and this shit wouldn't work so they would go quiet for quite there will be quiet one two three days for some of you eight days maximum and they will come back with the magician and say let's give it a go i'm all into this scorpio okay exciting i felt like this would be around the pisces full moon which is a full moon or new moon it's i think start first week of september anyhow this is your reading thank you scorpio friends i will see you soon again you have a great weekend bye bye